Season of the ocean race. It is the final leg behind us here. See the Hague and the boats slowly waiting to get ready. We have uh, five minutes to go before the start of this leg. You can see Militia there in the distance. We have 11th hour and Gio also behind us. They've been doing some runs back and forwards, getting geared up for this leg. It is pretty fresh out here on the water today. There is some wind, but it's also quite choppy. We are going to do a slightly different format following today because uh, it's going to be pretty impossible to keep up with the ribs. So, we are actually going to do a follow uh, from this mark. So we'll do the start and then we will go over to mark three and four and watch them flying past those marks because trying to chase in this rib is going to be impossible. And uh, we will keep you updated with the commentary though and give you the best view possible. We start... The start is in five minutes guys. 6.15 is the start time. If you've got questions, as always, please feel free to put them in the chat. And there are four of the five boats. You have Pulsim over there behind the start boat. And in the background there you have Waifa, Militia, 11th hour in Gio. We are back with the original team guys. So we are back with Nico Lundven on board as our navigator, the brain. We have Boris Herman as our skipper, Will Harris and Rosalind Koiper as co-skippers and Antoine Oriel on board as onboard reporter. So this is one of the start boats here, this little blue one there guys. And in the background there you see the Hague and the boats just coming up. Yeah, the old band is back together. Hi guys, it is Holly here. Thanks all for joining us, lots of you coming online. We are here, this is The Hague, and it is leg seven, the final leg of the ocean race. Absolutely crazy. The leg is going from The Hague to Genoa, expected to take between 10 and 12 days. Uh, it's really, really hard now at the moment to predict the weather in the Mediterranean. There's gonna be lots of transitions, lots of sail changes. Let's hope, uh, yeah, let's hope we can win this leg, guys. We are back with the original team, as many of you have noticed. We are back with Nico Lundven, Boris Herman, Rosalind Kuiper, Will Harris, and Antoine Oriol. With me on the boat here at the moment, we have Oakley Marsh. Hello, everyone. We have Roma, Jesse, Marco, Stu, and in the front, we have Jimmy and Marie. So we have a full house. And over there you see the boats have all unfurled their head sails. Militia a little bit behind there with the head sail coming out. We're going to go see. So just for you guys joining us now, we are at the start of leg seven. And uh, we... Oh, we're coming around now to see the boat. Is it going to be better for me to be on this side of the boat or this side? Okay. So over there in the distance, guys, you have the boats lining up. We are going to get a bit closer. That is the start boat you see there in the distance. So what we are going to do, it is quite choppy out here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the rib is not going to be able to keep up all the way. And so what we've decided to do is to uh, watch the start on the start line you see here. And then we will follow round. We will follow round and uh, go over to marks three and four. Mm. How long have we got to go? Probably like a minute, 10. We've got another minute to go. Hang on, once that blue, blue and white flag comes down, that's a minute to go. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Call that flag a blue Peter. So you have the boats here coming up Gio very fast over there. One minute to go. One minute people! 
you're zigzagging around there, you put holes in behind them. Not so easy to see what's happening. All of the boats currently trying to slow down. There is more wind out here than you realise. And it is quite windy. The boats are going to be fast. 35 seconds. 35 seconds to go for the start. You have Pio over there also really trying to slow down. You have Pio at the back. Then you have Biotherm here yep. coming. Right. 25 seconds to go. Coming in quite fast though towards this line. On the round. 15. 10. 9. 8. 7. All the boats coming in now. Militia is there close to the start boat. Flying in over there. Look at that. There is Militia coming over that line. Beautiful start there. Racing away. Look at that. I told you earlier so we are going to turn around and head to the next mark not number three so that we can give you a good view of when they come past that mark guys you both have had a great
the mark. We are, it is pretty wet on board here, guys. We are holding on. Don't worry, we have life jackets on. It is safe. But they are incredibly fast. One of the fastest import starts we've seen. Well, in short stuff. to 12 days on this leg. It is going to be an, a very exciting last lap for the ocean race. Awesome round. Awesome around the mark guys. We can see in the distance there. And then we're just going around now. And we are just going around that marker now. Thank you Oakley. <laughs> Got great eyesight. You can see that in the distance there, there are three boats that have set their sails now on the other side. You've got the fourth one coming around now. Also we've just jibed. We'll be turning the mark shortly. And that must be by some at the back then. 11th hour to follow. So you see guys the boats there in the distance. Coming around the mark. <laughs> we are in third place at the moment in this inshore part of the race. they will be heading back down towards us, correct? That's correct. I think they are about 20 seconds behind turning the second mark to hold them. And then round the mark and come back towards us. Guys, for me, pointing straight at them is just a bad. Like, I need to be on like a bit of an angle to be able to see I'm going to rotate around and we're going to go back with them. I know, but, but now I, mean, I can't see uh, anything. Like, well, just a little bit to the side, it's fine. There you go, guys. Getting a little view for you there. Boat coming. We are around that next mark. There you go, guys. 
It is going to be a good view, guys. Get ready for this one. They are going to be incredibly fast down this line. Some of you saying that Gio has overtaken. Let's see. They are coming down here now very fast. Incredibly fast. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Those sails in a perfect line coming down here, flying along. Guys, as all of you just joining us, this is leg seven. You are in the inshore part of leg seven race start here in The Hague. And the boats are flying down this leg. Like Goyo, is it? Yeah, Goyo has overtaken Militia currently fourth. Let's see if they can battle that out though. They are still very close. Beautiful to see, they are really flying down here, incredibly fast. <clears throat> Woo! Holston there guys in front coming up to us. Currently, yep, Holstim in first. This is 11th hour in second, flying in here. Then we've got Gio here in third, and Milizia is behind in fourth.
other boats up ahead here. Not far away. Here. For those of you that want, you can go to Eurosport, guys. That is the helicopter and the live. We are coming here round the mark. I am very wet. <laughs> the boat's now rounding the mark. You see, look at that. Something is happening. Wow. Are they getting attached to each other? Something has happened there with 11th hour and Gio. The boats look like they were touching for a moment there. Crazy to see. What just happened? They just crashed. They just crashed. Yeah, sure. There was just a collision now, guys, between 11th hour and Gio. It looks like damage to the bow spread of Gio there. Crazy to see. There was just a collision, I think, between Gio and 11th hour. Is there anyone? Doesn't look like anyone is hurt, but there looks like some damage to the boat. 11th hour just and Gio just collided there at the mark. What's happened? On the side or on the left, on the fourth side, the back. Of the boat? Of the boat. In where the, the writing is uh, racing, there's a boat, there's a hole in there. Oh my god. It looks like there may be some serious damage on the left tower, guys. It seems like there's been a collision between Gio and the left tower. We are still not exactly sure what has happened, whether it is the foil from. What do you think actually happened, guys? Huh? It looks like Gear may have gone into the side of 11th hour. We're not sure yet, still speculating. It looks like 11th hour are trying to see what has happened, but there is a hole in 11th hour. Let's see what is going on here. You have felt that head sail. They are also trying to understand what has just happened. Collision between Gio and 11th hour. It seems that Militia is speeding away over there by them rounding the mark. Also, Holstein have gone trying to see what has happened with 11th hour. They are furling that head sail now. Puncture in the port side of 11th hour towards the stern. Our boat is fine. They are setting off. They are there finishing this course, but it looks like Yet to the extent 
extent of the damage, but there seems to be damage on the bowsprit of Dio and to the hull of 11th hour. <clears throat> Let's see, this is devastating news for both teams. This is not what we want to happen. Wow. Yeah. Let's see guys, this is not good news for the team. No one seems to be hurt guys asking. There doesn't seem to be any... No one is hurt. 11th hour are assessing the damage on their side. The question is whether Gio can continue with that damage to their bowsprit. Probably not. No one is hurt, guys. Everyone seems to be okay, but it is a big damage to both boats. Gio have lost their bowsprit, and 11th hour seem to have a large hole in the side of their boat. Militia is continuing on. We are still with the boats that have suffered the damage. It looks like on Gio they are assessing that damage now. Do you think Gio need any help, like with a rib, or they're okay? So guys, I think we are going to go help, so we are going to come off of the live um, and let's go cut off now. <laughs> 